Today we will look at what the process of industrial action actually is and look at what disputes mean. Getting the votes in. All ballot papers are sent to members by post, so we need to make sure all our details are up to date with your union. The ballot period lasts 10 to 14 days. All votes must be sub submitted on time. Do not film or post pictures of members voting on social media and encourage members to vote by messaging, email and using all communications open to you. Union reps can go through the members lists and ring round members to make sure they have voted. Management have no right to know if people are union members, if they voted or how they voted. Successful industrial preparation. Every worker in your workplace must join a trade union. Please make sure you and people around you are in a union and make sure you actively consent to receive information from your union. A big part of being ready for industrial action is making sure that all your details are up to date with your union as industrial action ballots have to be issued by post. Get involved with your branch, attend meetings, become active. To win a lawful mandate, each union needs a turnout of at least 50%. The Trade Union Act of 2016 brought in the 50% turnout threshold to deliberately discourage national strikes in the public sector. It is possible to meet the threshold, but it means all of us talking incessantly to colleagues and asking sh people to vote. Disputes are launched when an agreement cannot be reached. They are a last resort. Planning takes place meticulously through the Strike Action Committee and Region. Disputes can be local, as in an individual trust, or national, such as NHS pay. The union have to give the management notice by law. For industrial action, the unions have to give the management 14 days notice so they can arrange cover. In order for industrial action to go ahead, we have to pass the ballot threshold. It's important to remember that members of unions with a lawful mandate have legal protection during official industrial action. Members of unions who do not achieve a mandate will not be lawfully protected if they strike.